hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to run mac os sonoma on virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so i can run windows manjaro linux and many other operating systems i want on my virtualbox now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox so open your chrome browser now let's search for virtualbox Now you can see Oracle VM VirtualBox right here. Click on it and it will take you to virtualbox.org. Now by the left, click on Downloads and then you can see VirtualBox for Windows host. Now click on Windows host and it should start downloading. Now after downloading VirtualBox, you also need to download the extension pack. So if you look right here, you can see VirtualBox 7.0.8 Oracle VM extension pack. So also download the extension pack. I already have VirtualBox installed, so I'm just gonna cancel. After downloading VirtualBox, you just have to install like every other software. If you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox. Now after downloading VirtualBox, you also have to download Mac OS Sonoma ISO file. The link to the ISO file is provided in the video description, so you can download directly from there. So let's close our browser. And then in our download folder, you should have VirtualBox and the extension pack. Now after installing VirtualBox, you can now double click on the extension pack. And then install. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to click reinstall. Screw down and then agree to the terms. And you should be able to install VirtualBox extension pack. Now to check if it is fully installed, you can just click on this two icon. Go to extensions and you can see over here, this is the extension pack. Now we can head back to our welcome page and then in our download folder you can see mac os 14 sonoma which is our iso file like i said earlier the link to this file is provided in the video description so you can download yourself now let's create a new virtual machine on virtualbox so click on new now let's call this machine mac os 14 now make sure the type is set to mac os x and then the version to mac os x 64 bit next set the ram so i'm going to give it about four gigabytes of ram and that should be okay to run mac os sonoma now you can see i have 16 gigabytes of ram on my pc that is why i'm giving it about four gigabytes you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your memory to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer same thing with the processor i'm going to give it three cores since i can run up to eight make sure efi is enabled and then next now this is the hard disk section so we have to allocate enough storage to install mac os now i think the minimum size is about 55 gig so i'm going to give this about 61 gigabytes and that should be okay to run mac os sonoma but you should allocate more storage so you won't have issues when you're trying to download a file or work with your mac os so let's next and then finish now we have to make few changes so click on settings and then right here on the name section copy the name of your machine we will make use of this later now go to system you can see this is the base memory which is the ram you can increase whenever you want processor you can increase as well go to display and increase the video memory to 128 megabytes enable 3d acceleration go to usb and make sure you switch to usb 3.0 go to storage click on the empty disk icon and by the right click on this disk icon click on choose a disk file now locate your download folder and select mac os sonoma which you downloaded open and then click on ok now we are almost ready to start the installation one more thing before we do that we have to configure this machine like a mac our machine won't be compatible to run mac os on virtualbox so we have to run a few tweaks now this command is also provided in the video description or you can copy it from our discord server the link will be provided in the video description as well so let's open the commands and here we go we are going to use these few commands to configure our mac os sonoma so we can run it from this machine without having any issue now replace vm name with our machine name which we copied earlier so just hold ctrl h on notepad and then replace vm name with our machine name which is mac os 14 replace all and it should replace vm name with our machine name now we can close our download folder for now 
Now open command prompt on your system. Just search for cmd and open command prompt. We're going to run each and every line of this command one by one. First command paste, hit enter. And then the second command paste, hit enter. Now while you're running this command, you shouldn't get any error. If you get any error, then maybe you used the wrong machine name. So make sure to check that. You shouldn't get any error while running this. So we successfully entered all the commands. Now we can close command prompt. We can also close our notepad. And then we can start the installation by clicking on start. Now let's set a language for the installation. English continue. The next thing we have to do is erase the disks we are located before we can install macOS. So go to disk utility, hit continue. Now you can see VBox hard disk media and you can see the size over here 66.05 gig. This will be relative to the size you set when you were creating a storage disk. So now click on erase. And then let's call this Mac OS 14. Set the format to APFS or you can set it to Mac OS Extended Journal. Both of them works. But let's go with APFS Erase. And then click on Done. Now we can close this page. And then go back to Install Mac OS 14 Beta. Continue. Hit Continue again. Now agree to the license and then select the disk which we erased earlier. Continue and it should start installing. Now this will take time about an hour or less depending on your hardware. It will restart severally while installing but you just have to wait patiently. Now also if your hardware is not compatible, you may encounter issues while it is installing. It may reboot into panic mode and then it will restart the entire installation from scratch. If that happens, check the video description, I made a video covering that and how to fix it. I provided fix to most common issues in the video description so if you encounter any issue, make sure to check the video description and check out the issue you're having and then you can fix the installation and run Mac OS 14 without any issue. Now all you need to do is wait patiently and it should install successfully. Then you can set up with your details and you're good to go. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.